Dof Yomi Tractate Bhava Basra, page 101A, top of the page, with the words Virach Ban Shisha, and their width is six handbreadths. Rabbi Shimon Omer, Ose to Hashlamara Sheish Amos, Ashmone, Uposech, Soycha Shleisha Asar Kur, Kuch. Kuch, yeah. Kaf of Kaf. Shloisha Asra Kuch. Hmm. Shloisha Asar, 13 burial niches. Kuch. Arba, Arba Mikan, Arba Mikan, Ushlosha Mikanegdan, Vechad Miamin, Hapestach Vechad Minasmoil. Rabbi Shimon says he should construct the inside of each burial chamber six cubits wide by eight cubits long and open up into the chamber by digging into its walls 13 burial niches. Four niches should be opened up from the wall here along the length of the chamber and four from there along the other side and three niches from the wall facing the entrance and one from the right of the entrance, and another from the one from the left. The Mishnah describes the general structure of the catacomb, and he must fashion a coat, yeah, that's the entrance of the burial chamber, that should be six cubits by six cubits which is equal to the combined length of the buyer of the deceased and those who bury him to ensure adequate room for the burial to take place. And he should open up two burial chambers into the courtyard, one from here and one from there. Many on the opposite sides of the court, Yad Rabbi Shimon says he should open up four burial chambers, one on each of the courtyard's four sides. Rabbi Shimon ben Gamliel Oimer, HaKol Efi HaSel Rabbi Shimon ben Gamliel says everything is dependent on the nature of the bedrock. If the bedrock is hard and strong, it will be able to accommodate more niches which will be more closely packed together with less bedrock between them. If the bedrock is softer, fewer and more sparsely spaced niches should be formed. And that's the Mishnah. Zog to Gemara, Zog to Heli Gemara, Hani Trele Chashad Ilu, Ile Varoi, Ho Komidash, Komidash Ilu, Isu Hoditnan, in Rabbi Shimon's depiction of a burial chamber, he states that two niches should be opened up, one from the right of the entrance and one from the left. The Gemara asks, These two niches, in which direction does he set them? If they are directed toward the outside of the chamber, meaning under the floor of the courtyard, won't people trample over them? When they enter the courtyard, which is improper. And furthermore, didn't we learn in the Mishnah in Ohalot 15.8, with regard to the courtyard of a catacomb, one who stands inside it is ritually pure because it can be presumed that he, that he did not stand over a dead body. Clearly, these niches are not to be dug underneath the courtyard. Rav Yossi's son of Rav Chanina said he makes two niches at the side of the entrance vertically like a door bolt. The Gemara challenges his explanation. But does not Rabbi Yochanan say with regard to the burial of people in a vertical position? Der Agav, I heard that Rabbi Meir was um, buried in a vertical position. He was buried upright. Side point. 
When did we say this? We said this during the Hillulia of Rabbi Meir. Pesach Shani. Yeah. Yeah.